Today, I'm doing something a bit weird. I'm doing a New England style Pilsner. So I'm taking a Pilsner recipe, a Czech Pilsner recipe, uh, and keeping it hazy. And all the hops I'm gonna add are at the end. So I'm gonna do a 30 minute edition of Saws and then a 20 minute steep of Saws. Uh, I got the idea actually from Highland Park Brewery had one, uh, they had a hazy lager on. Theirs wasn't that hazy, but I like the concept. So I'm gonna take it and, and uh, expand upon it. Now how I'm going to make it hazy is I'm, I added some wheat to this. Now wheat is high in protein. And so if you have those Weiss beers or wet beers and stuff, they have a lot of wheat in it and that creates that haze or it helps create the haze, I should say. Another way to get a hazy is yeast strains. So you can have like a really high flocculating yeast strain that just brings everything down. You have one that's a low flocculator, uh, which means it doesn't go down that quickly. It kind of stays in suspension a bit more. For this beer, I chose the Y-Yeast 2565. It's a coal strain. Why I chose this strain is because you can use this coal strain to actually get pretty good lager uh, profile out of it. But you can ferment it warmer. So I'm gonna ferment this closer to like 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 62 degrees Fahrenheit in that range. Also, it's a low flocculator and the yeast stays in suspension. According to the Y-Yeast website, it says, this powdery strain results in yeast that remains in suspension post-fermentation. So uh, the wheat I put in this is about 15%. I actually was a little concerned using wheat malt for this because um, I didn't want that wheat sort of like spiciness that can kind of come along with it. Now, if you do an, uh, a low acid rest on it, which is like, I think for like acids around 115, 113 range Fahrenheit, uh, you can get more of the spicy flavors. And you can do that if you want to have like a high, like a Brett beer. Uh, that has more of the clove, more of the spice, which then Brett takes that and converts it into uh, like the barnyard stuff. So you can't control it that way. Another, another thing I'm trying to prevent also is, like I said, this being clear. If I did a protein rest at 120 degrees Fahrenheit, that would break up the long proteins that I want to be hazy later. So if you want a more clear beer that has a lot of uh, unmodified malt or a lot of maybe flake stuff or a lot of wheat, you can do a protein rest and I'll break up some of those proteins that can cause haze later. But if you're good, 25% under on all those stuff, on the under modified malts, wheat and all that, uh, I probably wouldn't do a protein rest. You know, I have about where the max is. You know, I have 15% wheat, 9% uh, flake oats. So I'm definitely pretty much maxed out of exactly where I should be for that. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, hopefully it all goes right. Uh, let's start this. Ten twenty-two. It's exactly what my pay boy is supposed to be. I'm going for ten fifty-one. Let's hope I hit it. I'm gonna have to boil this for ninety minutes. Unfortunately, I had that setting set on when I did my recipe, so I didn't have enough grain to mash in where I would need to collect enough to boil for only sixty minutes. I collected enough to boil for 90 minutes because my boil off rate right now is about 0.75 gallons per hour. Right now, as I test it, I'm about 70 minutes in and I'm at like 1040 in the gravity. So I have to boil longer. Uh, I'll make sure to have that fixed next time. It's okay though, it'll be a little darker, probably a little more maltier, but I'm not really doing a salad anyway today, so it's fine. Ten forty nine. So the uh, I'm within two gravity points of what I was going for. My IBU is actually still ended up being okay. Let me take let me take a look here really quickly. It still says I'm at thirty nine IBUs. 
So uh, because the gravity was a little lower, the IBUs uh, didn't necessarily skyrocket when I went to a 45 minute edition rather than the 30 minute edition I was going for. Uh, I'm still gonna steep at 20 minutes. Also, my alpha acids uh, were different at the store at 3.4% than when I entered in the Beersmith program, which the Beersmith program default is 4%. So the bitterness was, was less on top of that. So all set and done, uh, should be okay. Um, and uh, it's still gonna be a fun experiment. So aside from my miscalculations with my boil time being 90 minutes instead of 60 minutes like it should have been, all in all, I'm happy with it. Uh, now the test really is going to see uh, if I can really make this hazy. Hopefully it tastes okay. I should pitch the yeast first though, shouldn't I?